My top moment was Shakari. She's just so resilient. She keeps pushing forward. She never gave up. She showed up and she showed out. Did you know that Simone Biles, the gymnastic superstar with 30 world championship medals, considers Shakari Richardson's 2023 comeback her top sports moment? That's right, the queen of gymnastics has been openly praising the sprinter who overcame a suspension to dominate the 100 meter race. Isn't it fascinating how two champions from different sports have formed such a strong bond? Them is actually different than the other competition. She's working a little bit quicker, a little sharper, and that's a good thing. Sometimes when Simone slows down, I can sometimes see nerves creeping. Simone, who we all know is the queen of gymnastics, has been openly praising Shakari for her remarkable achievements, especially her comeback in 2023. This story has so many layers, and it's one of those feel-good moments that reminds you of the true spirit of sports. ...trials and to confirm your spot on the Olympic team. Um, I feel like it definitely confirms uh, the year that we've been training for, preparing for, for, for this moment. It's a full circle moment to be grateful, appreciative. So last year, while Simone was making her comeback, she was more excited about Shakari Richardson's victories than her own. In an interview, Biles couldn't stop gushing about Shakari. She said, my top moment was Shakari. She's just so resilient. She keeps pushing forward. She never gave up. She showed up and she showed out. It's like Simone is a proud sister, cheering her on from the sidelines. Seeing that kind of support is just beautiful. Shakari's journey hasn't been easy. Remember back in 2021 when she got suspended? It was a huge deal. She missed out on the Tokyo Olympics because she tested positive for marijuana and the media went wild. The backlash was brutal. People were harsh and judgmental. And it seemed like everyone had something to say about her mistake. It was a tough time for her, but Shakari didn't let it break her. Instead, she used it as motivation to come back even stronger. Fast forward to 2023 and Shakari Richardson made a stunning comeback. She won the 100-meter race at the World Athletics Championships, clocking in at an incredible 10.65 seconds. This wasn't just a victory, it was a statement. She took on the best of the best, including the Jamaican legends like Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Sharika Jackson, and she came out on top. Remember, this is the same Jamaican trio that had humiliated her back in 2021. To see her beat them now, after everything she went through, was a powerful moment of redemption and resilience. I think Simone sees a lot of herself in Shakari. Both of them have faced intense public scrutiny and pressure. Simone, with her struggles at the Tokyo Olympics, where she had to deal with the twisties and took a mental health break, knows exactly what it's like to be in the eye of a media storm. She understands the courage it takes to step back into the spotlight and perform at the highest level after such setbacks. That's why her praise for Shakari feels so genuine and heartfelt. What's amazing is how Simone's support goes beyond just words. It's a powerful endorsement from one of the greatest athletes of our time. Simone, with her 30 world championship medals and four Olympic golds, knows exactly what resilience looks like. For her to recognize and celebrate Shakari's resilience means so much more. It's like she's passing the torch of inspiration, saying, I see you, I've been there, and you're doing amazing. You have to go back to 2003 to find the last time that a team, not Jamaica or the United States, won this event at Worlds. That's a full 20 years. Simone has been vocal about her admiration for Shakari, especially after Richardson's remarkable comeback in 2023. There was this one interview where Simone said, my top moment was Shakari. She's just so resilient. She keeps pushing forward. She never gave up, she showed up, and she showed out. Hearing that from Simone, who herself has faced unimaginable pressure and scrutiny, speaks volumes. It's not just about praising another athlete, it's about recognizing the sheer grit and determination it takes to come back from the brink. Their public interactions are heartwarming. Simone has repeatedly shown support for Shakari on social media, celebrating her victories and sharing words of encouragement. This kind of solidarity is rare, and it's clear that both of them draw strength from each other's journeys. It's like they're saying, I've got your back and I know you've got mine. Their journeys have so many parallels, 
Simone had her challenges with mental health and the twisties during the Tokyo Olympics. She had to step back, take care of herself, and then come back stronger. Shakari's story is somewhat similar. In 2021, she faced a massive setback when she was suspended just before the Tokyo Olympics. It was a dark time for her. The suspension came after she tested positive for marijuana, and the media frenzy that followed was relentless. People were quick to judge, and it seemed like everyone had an opinion on her mistake. After her suspension, she didn't hide away or let the negativity consume her. Instead, she faced it head-on, trained harder, and made sure that her comeback was nothing short of spectacular. That's why Simone's admiration for her is so genuine. Simone knows exactly what it takes to fight back from the brink and emerge victorious. Looking ahead to the 2024 Paris Olympics, both Simone and Shakari have set high goals for themselves. Simone, after taking time off for her mental health, is determined to reclaim her title in gymnastics. She's already a legend with 30 World Championship medals, but she wants to add more Olympic golds to her name. Shakari, on the other hand, is gearing up for her Olympic debut. She's aiming for gold in the 100-meter race and is ready to take on her rivals once again. Final heat of the women's 100, not the best start from Shakari Richardson, but it doesn't matter as she starts to wind up Tamara Davis on the inside of Shakari. Back in 2021, Shakari faced a massive setback that could have derailed her entire career. Just before the Tokyo Olympics, she tested positive for marijuana and was suspended. The media frenzy was brutal. People were quick to judge her, and she became the subject of endless scrutiny and criticism. It was a dark time for her, filled with public shaming and personal disappointment. Missing the Olympics was a huge blow, and many wondered if she'd ever recover from it. But Shakari is a fighter. She didn't let that suspension define her. Instead, she used it as fuel to come back even stronger. Fast forward to 2023, and Shakari made one of the most spectacular comebacks in sports history. At the World Athletics Championships, she won the 100-meter race, clocking in at an astonishing 10.65 seconds. This victory wasn't just a win, it was a statement. She beat the best of the best, including the Jamaican powerhouses Shelly Ann Fraser-Price and Sharika Jackson, who had dominated the track in her absence. Her performance was electrifying, a powerful display of speed, determination, and resilience. What makes her comeback even more remarkable is the context. The Jamaicans had swept the 100-meter podium at the Tokyo Olympics, and many doubted if Shakari could ever compete at that level again. But there she was, not just competing, but dominating. Her victory was a moment of redemption, proving to everyone, including herself, that she could overcome adversity and rise to the top. It was one of those moments that gave you goosebumps. Shakari has her sights set on the 2024 Paris Olympics. This will be her first Olympic appearance, and she's determined to make it count. She's aiming for gold in the 100-meter race and is ready to take on her rivals once again. Her goals are ambitious, but if her comeback is any indication, she has what it takes to achieve them. Old, everybody knows what happened in Tokyo. Two years away, came back and started that road to Paris. Here we go. This is an event that she's very efficient on. Just look how quick she gets from one bar to the next. Simone, as you know, faced her own set of challenges during the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. She was dealing with the twisties, a terrifying condition where gymnasts lose their sense of spatial awareness while in the air. It's dangerous and can lead to serious injury. On top of that, Simone was struggling with her mental health. The pressure, the expectations, it all became too much. She made the brave decision to step back and prioritize her well-being even though it meant withdrawing from several events. This decision was met with mixed reactions. Some people praised her for putting her mental health first, while others criticized her for not competing. But Simone knew what she needed to do. She took time off to focus on her mental health, which was a crucial and courageous move. It showed that even the greatest athletes are human and that mental health is just as important as physical health. 
In 2023, Simone made her comeback, and it was nothing short of spectacular. She returned to competitive gymnastics at the US Classic and won the all-around title. This was followed by an incredible performance at the World Artistic Gymnastics Championships, where she claimed several top podiums. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.